What's up everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie and today we're going to be talking about an Oprah Chai Tea and the Edison Morgan. So this tea comes in a giant box. It is the Oprah Cinnamon Chai Tea from Teavana. Um, box is totally unnecessary as far as size goes. I mean, that's a lot of wasted space. Come on, Oprah. Um, but essentially it is a pre-packaged tea. Um, so you're going to pull out the bags like such. Um, and the ingredients are cinnamon, black tea, ginger, carrot pieces, black pepper, natural flavor, chicory root, rooibos, cloves, and cinnamon. Um, so as you can tell from here, this is actually a blend of rooibos and black tea um, made into like a chai type flavoring. Um, straight off the bat, this is not one of my favorite chais. Um, but also disclaimer, I don't really like rooibos tea. Um, I was interested in this because it's a blend of rooibos, which I'm not a fan of, and black tea, which is where I usually go to. Um, so I was interested because black tea is the, um, second ingredient, whereas rooibos is the, you know, the third to last. I was hoping that black tea would kind of overtake it. Um, but you do taste the rooibos leaves. Um, so I'm not a super fan of it totally drinkable like I'm definitely gonna go through this box flavorings of the chai is definitely overwhelmed a little bit by cinnamon um, so if you really enjoy a cinnamon flavored chai tea um, then I think you're gonna love this tea um, basically there are 12 of these bags in here um, and it is $10.95 which is a little pricey um, but the benefit of it is every time you buy a box, um, Tivana and Oprah, I guess, um, donate one dollar of it to Leadership Academy. That's what she calls it. Um, so essentially, it's it's helping people that are you know disadvantaged in life get a heads you know head start and get you know schooling or material for school or all that kind of good stuff. So at least you know some of your money is going towards you know a good cause. Um, but uh, yeah, so you're gonna crack open, you just kind of pull the tab open and it out pops your pre-bagged. Um, you're gonna put it into your cup of water, um, basically a full boil, and you're gonna let it steep for about three minutes. Um, any longer than three, then all I taste is cinnamon. I, I can't taste anything else. Um, but about three minutes is pretty good for me. I don't know if I would buy it again, but I'm glad I got it just so that I could kind of try it out. Um, but I figured an orange type box would go really well with kind of like an orange looking pen. <laughs> um, this is the Edison Morgan. This one in particular, I don't believe you can buy anymore unless you get it um, like specially made um, by Edison Pen Company. Um, because this is the 2013 limited edition one. Um, I don't know if my camera will quite pick up on that but now I'll get it later for you. Um, so the material that it's made out of, um, you may possibly be able to get them to specially make it, um, but the body of themselves, they still make. Um, you do have to order this one off of their website, um, but I really like the material. All of Edison pens have really awesome material. Um, they really have a great like shimmer to them um, and this one obviously is a black pen, um, but it still gets some really nice depth to the material. Um, and my camera just, of course, is not doing it justice, but it's really, really nice. Um, so it starts out kind of small, grows a little bit towards the barrel where the grip section will be, and then tapers back down again. Um, both ends are completely black. Um, and the clip is obviously a stainless steel clip. It's got a decent amount of tension. It's ever so slightly, I think, on the loose side, um, but pretty dang good. Um, unscrews to reveal the number six size nib. This one in particular is a gold fine nib, um, which is 18 carats. Um, the pens that you get from Edison will usually come standard with a um, steel nib. If you're willing to pay uh, the upgrade, you can get the gold nibs, um, which write really, really well. Um, you unscrew the grip section here, 
to reveal a standard international cartridge uh, or converter. And you can eyedropper the pen. You just throw a little silicone grease around the um, threads, fill up the entire body, which would get you a crazy amount of ink, and close it right back up. As far as I'm aware, you can eyedropper convert pretty much any Edison pen. Um, the grip section here is pretty standard for Edison. Almost every Edison pen, once again, has the same grip section that tapers in quite a bit. Um, I find the grip section really comfortable. I would probably like it just a hair more if it was slightly thicker, um, but it's definitely usable. The only thing about this model in particular that I'm not a huge fan of is because when it's screwed in, to have this sort of really cool shape here, there is a very large step up right here. Um, and that is a little bit much for me um, because when I hold the pen, I typically will hold my thumb uh, farther back on the threads. The threads are super smooth. You're not gonna be able to feel those, which is great, but I do feel the step up um, and it is quite a large step up. Um, so I'm not a giant fan of that um, as much especially when I compare it to their other pens. For the sake of keeping gold nibs, um, this is my uh, Edison Nouveau Premier. This was like the, their special with Goulet pens um, for the winter season. And I did also get the gold nib update for this. Um, so you can really see that the grip sections are identical. Uh, threads pretty much identical, but on this one, there's no step. So when I hold it, it's just seamless. There's nothing that gets in my way. Um, once again, I would wish that the um, grip section is ever so slightly thicker, um, but there's nothing really getting in my way. Um, and I do have a full review of this already on my page, um, but there's nothing getting in my way. And I really, really like that. Um, whereas on this pen, that step, uh, my thumb rests right on it. And it's a hefty step and you know it's there. You do feel it. Um, so not a giant fan of that one, um, but there are a lot of good things with this pen. Um, it's very long in the sense of you don't need to post it. I would imagine even most guys, you won't have to post it. Um, but if you choose to, you can, it posts very securely. Um, but I mean, for me, it becomes extraordinarily long. Um, but even though it's really, really long, it's not crazy back heavy. It is more weighted, you know, towards the cap end, but it's not like unbearable or anything like that. Um, and that's because the resin that it's made out of is very light. Uh, another cool thing about Edison pens is that all their nib units are replaceable. You can buy separate ones. So, you know, I could take the nib unit from here, put it in here, vice versa. Um, I could take any other Edison pen. You can also switch them out with Franklin Kristoff um, nib units. They fit exactly the same in here. Um, and they are number six size, so even if you keep the feed, you can replace the nib unit, or just the nib itself with another one. Um, Edison makes their pens so that you can change pretty much anything. So if something breaks in the future, and he's for whatever reason not around, then you can still get parts replaced um, by other people, which is a really thoughtful thing to do, I think. Um, he doesn't really want to use any proprietary technology, which is really, really nice. Price-wise, uh, this model um, goes for US dollars, 250 um, with the steel nib. If you want the gold nib, you got to up that by an extra 100 bucks, so it becomes 350 um, For Canadian pricing, with the steel nib, uh, with our dollar where it is right now, you're looking at $321 for steel, $421 with gold. So it's definitely <laughs> a bit of a, a hike. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know if I would get this model. Um, I'm not a super huge fan of that step that really bothers me. Um, but I mean, I already own three Edison pens. Um, I have a review of this one as well. This is the Collier um, Blue Steel. I also have a review of this one. Um, I don't have a review of this one because it's identical to this. Um, the only difference is that this is a steel nib, which I talk about in this video. Um, 
So, I mean, I definitely love Edison pens, and I do still plan on getting some more in the future, um, especially their Menlo um, is the one I've got my eye on, but I'm not a giant fan of this body shape. Uh, but what matters the most to me with pens is how does it write? So let's find out. All right, so we got a fine 18 karat gold nib. Uh, the ink in this bad boy is Diatramentus Ochre Yellow, um, which I really, really love the shading of. Um, and if we ju jump right into it, this pen is pretty wet. Um, so that also leans really nicely towards shading. This pen is also very smooth. Um, I've had mostly positive experiences with the Edison Steel Nibs, um, and I've only ever had positive experiences with the Edison Gold. Um, I own a gold medium. Um, this is not mine, but this is a gold fine, um, and they write really, really well. Um, they're definitely a price hike over the Steel counterparts, but they definitely do write really, really well. Um, as far as line variation goes, it's not a super bouncy gold nib, um, so it's not going to be anything like Visconti's Dream Touch nibs where you can really get some good variation out of that or like Omos nibs or anything like that, um, but you definitely can squeeze some out if need be. Um, reverse, you could probably hear, is really kind of scratchy. It's not pleasant and it's so dry that it's really not going to work very well. If you absolutely needed to, I would say that you could, but it certainly would not be uh, something that I would look forward to doing. Um, fast writing. Definitely keeps up. Um, I lifted my pen there, so that's not actually a skip. Um, it definitely keeps up. Obviously my writing is almost illegible, but it certainly does keep up, uh, which is very nice. It's definitely what you want in a pen for sure. Um, so yeah, I dig it. This nib writes really well. Um, and overall, I would definitely recommend this pen. Um, I don't, don't think the shape is necessarily going to be for everyone, um, but that's the beauty of Edison pens is they have so many different kinds. Um, I wouldn't buy this pen, um, just because the shape isn't for me, but I mean, I already own three and I definitely plan on getting more Edison's in the future. Um, so I definitely would recommend it. Um, but guys, that's it for me today. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up button. If you really like the video and haven't yet done so already, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, there are new videos every Monday and Friday and the occasional Tuesday with Tuesday Tea Time. Um, don't be afraid to leave any comments, questions, or concerns in the comment section below. I do read them all and I try and answer them all as quickly as I can. Um, and I really like reading them, to be honest. Um, but guys, that is going to be it. So I will see you next time. Bye.